One of the uh, big advantages of electric power is that you have a lot of power on the low end. So when you start accelerating, you have a lot of power immediately. On the petrol carts, when you put the power down, they would have started going really slowly and then start to speed up after maybe five to seven seconds, but these ones don't do that. It's pure power. But uh, as well as that, um, we also wanted a much cleaner, more family type experience. And I think that without heat, without engines, without grease, without lubricant, without all that messy stuff, it becomes a much cleaner activity. Kids can enjoy it, parents feel safe. So uh, that's really good. Sorry that the, the answer is so long, one more thing. Uh, another great thing about the electrical power with the safety features is that we can shut them down via remote control. So if there's an accident, they can stop or they can go down to low speed. This also makes it a much better family experience. It's our dream to increase the, uh, the participation level in motor racing. And the other tracks in Singapore are predominantly race tracks. And you are not going to promote motor racing by having people going 140 kilometers an hour. You have promote racing by people going 30 to 50 kilometers an hour because people are not used to that kind of high speed as their first level. So by building this place with the electric, with the cleanliness, with the location, with the residential area, all combined, we believe that we are gonna greatly increase the pool of new people that have never driven a cart before. So if right now in Singapore, the cart driver participation is only maybe 2,000, 3,000 people, if we could make it 50,000 people, then I think it would greatly change how Singapore looks at Formula One, how they look at the sport, not just a tourist attraction, not just as an event. We'd want to stop people from saying like, ah oh, yeah, I've been to Formula One already, don't need to go again. No, you need to go every year. I think people are curious, but it's intimidating as well, having petrol cars. And I think this, this, this curiosity is then played out here because it's so nearby and, and, and like you said, we're inexpensive. And people get to try, even if it was only for one time, um, they get to try and they get to understand what it's all about. And this really helps, I guess, um, with, with motorsport and uh, what we do. Uh, nobody's looked down on me and on that. Uh, everyone's very, very encouraging um, uh, across the board. Um, and I think with males and females, there is no major difference. It's just that perhaps uh, on, on an everyday basis, men are just generally more interested in, in, in tinkering with the motor and all this. Um, but no, the passion, the passion is definitely there for, for motorsport. Yeah.